Oh, yeah. YouTube, Google+, Plus, Facebook, Twitter. Welcome to the all-new Throwback Thursdays, where we play nothing but retro video games, baby. It's on like Donkey Kong. Welcome, everybody, to Throwback Thursdays. Today, I'm going to be playing Double Dribble. I chose this game because I wasn't big into sports, but for some reason, back on the Nintendo Entertainment System, a lot of us played sports games. I think it was because the uh, sports games were actually simplified. There wasn't all these bunch of rules and things, and uh, it was a lot of fun, so... And it had multiplayer, so we played this a lot. Anyways, let's get this thing started, as you see. The National Anthem, that's amazing. The game's fantastic, actually. Nowadays, you know, it's different. There's, uh, team, there's only three teams. There's New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles. Three levels to choose from a difficulty. And I think believe the time limit you can set from 5, 10, and 15 minutes. And you can't choose the jersey color, so I'm stuck with this light blue color and I think I'm playing what's that, New York? It doesn't say on the screen, but I think that's I'm playing New York. I think they're the green team, if I'm correct. I haven't played it in a long time, so I'm gonna suck. So hopefully I can stay close. The controls are very simple. A is the pass. B is the shoot. On defense, A is the steal. And B is to switch players. So the player that you are playing as is the one who's blinking. And the computers control the rest of your teammates and you can kind of switch them in and out for what, what we need to play as defense, where you need to be. They okay, got a three. Ah. Uh. One thing that made this game amazing is uh, is all the detail. It's made by Konami, of all things. And as you see in the backgrounds, there's all the, the people in the background, the cheerleaders off to the side there. And old Konami. This new Konami doesn't make much of anything. But yeah, the game was fantastic for back in the day. We played, I remember playing this with a kid. I believe his name was Brian back in the day. I went to, we spent, uh, I spent the night at his house, like, uh, two days, I believe, and we played this and Shadowgate. Switched on and off, playing between both of those games. Shadowgate was like a, uh, more of a click, click adventure. Kind of finding clues, and clicking, and trying to get to the next part of the, solving this puzzle and getting through this, uh, castle, I believe, or a house, something like that. So it was a very cool game. This, this game, we played a lot of. I think we played it in 1987-88, somewhere around there. Played it for at least on and off for a year or so. So we had a lot of fun with it. As you see, I'm not doing so good, so excuse my suckiness. <laughs> I used to be good back in the day, but nowadays I've lost uh, the touch, I guess. Actually, the only place I uh, suck at is defense. I'm okay on the shooting and stuff. But defense is where I'm failing real bad. I know A steals, so I got that down a little bit better. I'm trying to see if I can get some dunk animation to show you guys the dunk animations. This game was in the arcade and got ported over to the Nintendo. And I believe... The arcade had a couple of extra, well, of course, it was enhanced graphics, but I think it had a little bit of speech, too, if I'm correct, or something like that. I only played it once in the arcade. I only saw it one place one, once, so. I believe it was a pizza place or something, so I only briefly played it. I don't think it stayed there long. But all these sports games, like baseball, hockey... They were all pretty fun on Nintendo for some reason. I mean, on in the, when I went to 16-bit systems, I really didn't play them. But on 8-bit, for some reason, I played a lot of sports games that they brought out. The funny thing was, like I said, I wasn't big into sports. I was more into those like uh, adventure event games like Legend of Zelda, Mario games, and things like that. But Karate Champ. 
so many different games. So anyways, on Throwback Thursdays, my plan is to just pick a game out of the blue and play it. This week, Double Dribble. Next week, uh, I'll think about it. Uh, you guys can leave comments what you'd like to see. If I have it, I'll play it. Definitely play it. Uh, I'm trying to stick with the 8-bit systems first. I'll stick with like the uh, Master System I have and the Nintendo. And then eventually go up to some 16-bits and so on. Okay, let's see. 23, 24. Keeping it close so far, but... I'm surprised because I know I'm gonna suck eventually probably. I played once before this off camera and I got blown out of the water. Because back then, I, or actually when I played the first time, I was thinking you had to hit A and B together to steal. I believe in NBA Jam, you hit A and B and you can steal, so that's what I was thinking at first. So I got confused for a second, but it's actually simplified. It's just A to steal and B to switch players. So when I was bashing them both together, it was doing me nothing but making me lose worse. 25-26. <laughs> so I'm hanging in there. I think the first time I played, I was blown out of the water by like 30 points. Oh, man. Trying to get those threes. So did you guys play this game also back in the day? Before this, back in the day, we played multiplayer games. Uh, well, not Nintendo. I could, Nintendo, I think, Karate Champ. There's got, there's got a few multiplayer games. Contra. But back in the day before that, on the Atari 2600, there wasn't many multiplayer games. The only one I can think of is Combat. And Combat was like this dogfighting. You could dogfight with tanks. Jets and planes, I believe. It's been a while since I played with my... Way back in the day, I played with my brother. What, 4-bit graphics, I'm guessing? On the Atari 2600, if you considered that, but... Yeah, so, when Nintendo came around, that's when they started really focusing on more multiplayer games. Either fighting against each other, or, or fighting with each other, such as, like, Kari Warriors... Uh, what else could you play multiplayer? Kari Warriors... Uh, Commando, I believe, was one player. You would do Commando. You would uh, play one person would when you die, then the next person would go. Kari Warriors, you fight alongside each other, and then there was Karate Champ, where you fight against each other, kind of like a karate fighting game. I don't know how many people you played it. Pre Street Fighter, two days. I liked Karate Champ actually a lot. Even though people said it, overall it got really bad ratings and things. But for some reason, I actually liked Karate Champ. I don't know why. So it was good that it was cheap to buy because no one liked it. I think it's because I played it actually originally in the arcade when I first saw it. And then when I saw it come to the Nintendo. And of course it wasn't as great. None of the games were as great back then coming to from arcade to home system. But... It was good enough that I played it still. And uh, so there was a lot of games like this. And a lot of sports games were fun because there was, I think maybe part of the charm of all these sports games was they were all multiplayer, which we were still in the beginning of multiplayer games. They were all still pretty new to, to us. So being able to play like baseball against your friends or play... Uh, hockey or basketball and so on wrestling it was just uh, fantastic even games like uh, track and field those were fun too they some of the Olympic games other Olympic games besides track and field I think there was a couple a couple more other Olympic games uh, soccer also I mean all the sports games were were actually fun I don't know and after that, when it got to the 16-bit systems, see, there's the dunk animation. When it came to the 16-bit systems, that's when we kind of, uh, I started basically stop playing sports games, really. Or not as much. I played some of the bigger ones, like uh, some of the boxing, Holyfield boxing and NBA Jam. But I really didn't play any more of the baseballs or basketball games besides the NBA Jam. 
in football, I guess, of course, everybody played Madden. Madden football and 16-bit systems. We were playing the, uh, there was a couple of college football games, too. I think Tecmo, Tecmo Bowl, that was a good one. And that started on the 8-bit system, uh, NFL football. I actually liked Tecmo Bowl a lot. Simplified graphics, but if, if you could, uh move players around and when they get injured you could take them out and replace them with other players it's a fantastic game okay come on oh if I can break 40 I'll be happy now I'm getting whooped 31 to 50 I'm doing terrible there's a nice slam at least oh I missed it too <laughs> Well, it looked like a nice slam, so I missed it. Now, I can't remember if it's NBA Jam or this. You can break the backboard if you slam a bunch of times. I'm thinking it more, it's more likely that it's NBA Jam, but for some reason I keep thinking it's this also. So leave in the comments below if you remember which game it is that if you keep slamming really hard on the uh, backboard, that it'll break. I wish I could remember. I'm not sure which system that was, which game that was. Okay. Three minutes, 33 points. I can break 40. Even though I'm. Okay, I got pushing. Oh, man. I at least got to. Hopefully, he misses so I can recover the ball. I figured I'd start with a game that. I thought uh, that was important in the Nintendo Entertainment System that a lot of people played that weren't sports fans. So that's why I chose this one. But I think that happened with quite a few of the uh, sports games. Come on! Uh, oh! I was hoping to get a three. It's the catch up fast. Get <laughs> need that 40 points at least. One more, come on, dunk. Okay, well, at least that's 37. Now I'm just playing to get 40 points. Even though I got whooped like that, he's whooping me good, too. I believe there's three different dunk animations. Could be four, but I believe it's three. I believe it's one-handed, two-handed, and behind the, behind the head or something like that. Dunks. Okay, man, 39. Let's see if I can break 40. Come on, break 40. There we go, 41. Okay, as you see, I'm not doing so well. So anyways, I'm going to, every Thursday, throw an OG game out there. I'll start off with the 8-bit uh, systems, like I said, and then move up to some of the 16-bit systems. And I'll stick around those for a while. Unless you guys got other ideas that they want to see. I have some PlayStation 1 games also I could put up there and things like that. I kind of want to do some really retro throwback Thursdays to some older games. So it looks like I'm going to get 45 points. 45 to 64. Anyways, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And as always, have a good one. I believe I can fly.